Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Justin Wolf from Wolf Customs. I had a couple requests. Number one, I had someone ask me if I would start actually showing new sheaths and everything else as I design them and, and put them up. And, you know, I don't have a problem with that. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, first sheath that I'm going to show you is for the Lieutenant Wright Genesis. And this is it here. Turned out really nice. Um, D-ring on the back, of course. That way you can slide it up, put a dangler system on it. Many of you guys know I've changed my dangler system. I no longer use the round carabiners. I've actually started using these guys right here because, quite frankly, the round carabiner, I had two of them fail. And, yeah, I know that's two and four years. What did you do? But, in my opinion, two is too many. So, we went with something stronger. This is never going to fail. But anyway, like I said, got the ability to hang that now low and a lot of times you know for myself I know that I like danglers in the winter time because it keeps my gear low my knife low below my coat line and everything else during the summer times um, I may not use a dangler sometimes I do sometimes I don't but anyway back to the sheath this particular knife is one of the most challenging knives there is when it comes to a sheath because of the design okay there really is nothing on these knives to really wet form them your sheath to where it gives an absolute perfect retention um, handle shape and everything else just doesn't allow it you know like with my personal one Skookum, it's flared and everything else. You can make a uh, sheath for these, just out of leather, and it works just as just like Kydex would. Whereas something like this, it's a little bit harder. So when you design one of these sheaths, you have to be careful that you don't get the retention too tight and you don't get it too loose, and that can be very challenging. Um, this one actually came out very nice. I mean, it's got a very good fit nice and tight and you know it's not gonna come out um, now over time it might wear a little bit but it's still going to uh, be pretty good I think but anyway that is like I said the sheath for the lieutenant Wright Genesis another item that I have is what I call the firefly and I designed this a while back and I never made a video for it but um, I had somebody request to actually see a video on it so let me show you what the firefly is firefly looks just like the affordable woodsman pouch except it's got some added features um, it also has the knot toggle system here and you can add a ferrule rod loop toggle system to it and I'm going to show you that right now Now other than the toggle system, is what we have on this, is it still opens up just the same as, you know, the affordable woodsman, but in here is what I've got, and the reason why I call this the firefly is because the first time I made this, it was for somebody that wanted it as a fishing kit. And so, you're such a nerd. But anyway, so I thought, you know what, it'd be really cool for somebody that was a fly fisherman, because they could really put their their flies right in here or underneath here they have a little place for them to put them as well now in addition to this pocket Dad, I'm hungry. okay we'll wait in just a second but the reason the other reason I call this the firefly is because yes it's a fishing kit but the other one is that it was designed to hold fire starting implements 
So this pouch here was originally designed to hold like a uh, flint and steel. If I close that, there's a pouch right behind here that you can store tinder or char cloth or something like that. On the side here, this opens up and you have a place for like a uh, magnification lens or you know something along them lines. And of course it also has the pouch for Altoids and all that good stuff. Now this pouch is big enough okay, that you can actually hold more items in there. It's not limited. Here, hold on, honey. It's not limited to just the uh, the Altoids tin. So, anyway, this is actually yes, that kind of tickles. This is actually one of my favorite pieces right here, and I'm really looking forward to making one of these for myself. They would be perfect for like a uh, pocket fishing kit or something like that. They just they're really nice. You know, and I can add different things to them, like I just showed you the uh, the ferro rod loop that you can add to it. You know, I'm also going to be making one of these here soon for somebody, that uh, on the back will have a place for a loop, so that way they can wear it on their belt. So anyway, those are the two items that I wanted to share with you guys today. <laughs> Kaylee, you're such a dork. <laughs> Alright guys, well that is all that I've got to show today. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can look me up at wolfcustoms.com or you can send me an email at wolfcustoms at yahoo.com. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and as always, have a good one. Welcome to Wolf Customs, the home for the very best leather goods, both for the common man and the individual that wants a little more for their equipment. Company founder Justin Wolf has been an avid outdoorsman his whole life, so he understands what it means to have good reliable equipment. All Wolf Custom items are hand cut, hand dyed, hand punched and hand sewn. No sewing machines ever touch our items. We offer many handmade woodsman and bushcrafting products with high quality standards. Nevertheless, we are able to offer the high quality handmade affordable woodsman line with pouches, sheaths, leather kits, cases or repair kits with a price range of only $20 to $55. Our pouch section is filled with different handcrafted leather pouches for multiple uses like the Strider, Messenger, Companion or Journeyman series. Depending on the amount of leather and time, we can offer pouches with a price range of $55 to $250. Every bushcrafter knows that a sturdy belt is one of the most important items you need outdoors. Your knives, water bottles or tinder pouches are attached there and you really don't want to lose them. Wolf Customs offers three different very solid belts, the ring belt, the double ring belt and the everyday belt. We use high quality steel for the rings and thick sturdy leather. For $55 to $65 you get some belts that will keep your gear there where it's needed, right at your body. The most important things in the woods are water, shelter and fire. A fire kit is the essential item to have outdoors. Wolf Customs offers traditional and modern devices like cottonwood bow drill sets, antler ferro rods and a complete fire kit series called Firefly that you can get for $15 to $65. Always keep in mind all items are handmade and of high quality material. Keeping the blade of your axe in a good shape and protecting yourself in the same time is a matter of good covers. Wolf Custom offers different hawk and axe covers for Fiskars or cold steel. You need a sheath for another model? No problem. We can customize it for you in the same great quality. If you ask any bushcrafter what is your favorite item, he will say my knife. A knife is the number one item in the outdoors and therefore Wolf Customs puts a lot of effort and time in crafting sturdy, safe and high quality sheaths. Our customers say that our sheaths fit the knife like a glove and this is what we want. We only use the best materials and literally build the sheath around the knife. We offer sheaths for Mora, Ontario, BK2 or PLSK and even Laplander folding saws. 
Of course, we'd love to make your custom sheath for your favorite knife. Send us a picture, the measurements and we sure will make you happy. If it comes to customizing, we can't tell you fixed prices, but we will give you a solid estimate of costs on which you can count on. Please take a look at our homepage gallery and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us at wolfcustoms at yahoo.com.